Sleepover. When I was little, I went to stay with my friend Angel. Hi, Angel. Oh. Mummy said, anytime you want to come home, just tell Angel's mum. See you tomorrow. No, I said, I want to stay the whole night at Angel's. I'm sleeping in Angel's room. I put my pyjamas next to Angel's pyjamas. Look what I'm wearing today. Angel showed me my bed. It was very tiny. Angel said it was a magic bed. I can't sleep there. It's a magic bed. Then we went out to play. Angel's toys were different to my toys. Angel showed me how to hula hoop. At tea time, Angel's mummy made me my favourites. Fish fingers! We sat and climb up chairs in the kitchen. Angel's kitchen was different from my kitchen. I liked Angel's kitchen. <laughs> All finished. After tea, we played with Angel's dolls. Angel's dolls were different to my dolls. Ready for bed, said Angel. Angel and me had a bath together. After bath, we cleaned our teeth. Angel's mummy helped me clean my teeth. I liked Angel's mummy. When we went into Angel's room, magic. Ping! My tiny bed was big. I could see Angel in her bed. Angel's mummy kissed me and Angel. Night-night. Night-night. Angel and me chattered. Angel stopped chattering. The room was quiet. I looked at Angel. Angel was asleep. I want my mummy, I heard my voice say. I looked outside. Angel's mummy was watching television. I felt sad. Mummy might miss me. I wanted mummy to kiss me night night. Hey Tig, feeling sad shows how much you love mummy. Mummy will miss you too. But Mummy wants you to have a big adventure. Mummy wants to have the fun of giving you a big, big hug when you come home again. Mummy wants to have the fun of hearing all about your time away. But Tig, you can go home whenever you want. Angel's Mummy won't mind and Mummy won't mind. So do you want to go home? Oh dear, you're not sure, are you? Hmm. So just for now, pop back into bed and count up how many kisses your mummy gives you every day. Then count up how many kisses you give to your mummy every day. Go for it, Tig. Yes, I thought. I won't go home yet. So I counted how many times Mummy kissed me and I. I woke up. It was daytime. I had slept all night at Angel's Angel, house. Angel, wake up. Angel, wake up. Ah, it's only a toy spider. I like staying the night with Angel. I love Willie. We've been guessing. One step at a time. When I was little, my daddy took me to buy some eggs. Hi, Dada. This is Willie. Oh, I love Willie. We didn't go to the shops. We went a long, long way away to the country. Willow. Go and get Willie. And Willie came too. In the country, we went for a gate. 
We walked through some long grass. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? We walked down a long, long lane. The long, long lane was very smelly. Stinky. What's that smell, Daddy? I think it's a cow. I wanted to see the cow. I've never seen a real cow before. I think the cows are busy. Busy mooing, I said. At the end of the lane, we saw a scarecrow. Scarecrow! Oh, what's he missing? Big hat. He put the scarecrow's hat on. Whoa, look at that hat. What do you think? Look. Oh, Let's put him on his shoulder. Whoa. I really like the scarecrow. <laughs> I want to see the cow. I want to see the cow. No, we need to go and get eggs first. Daddy said no, we had to get the eggs. We came to a farm. Yeah, you could do the knock here, really. I knocked on the door. Oh, well done. A giggly farmer opened the door. Hello. Hello. I just wanted to get the eggs just for me. You come to get some eggs? Yeah, we'd better go and see the chickens then. OK. Come on, come on. The giggly farmer took us to see the chickens. I wanted to see the cow. The chicken played some eggs for me and Daddy. We put them into a box. I picked them up and counted them. That was good, wasn't it? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's a pleasure. Oh, there you go. Bye-bye, Farmer Giggly. The long, long lane was very smelly. Come on, Tig. I want to see the cow. Moo! Oh, what's that? A big animal was looking at us. I don't like the big animal. There's nothing to be scared of. It's all right. It's only a cow, said Daddy. Don't like cows. Too big. Come on. It's quite safe. It's behind a gate. Not past the cow, I said. Come on, we need to get home. No. Why not try it one step at a time? Wooly whispered. Take one step at a time. It's easy. OK, you go. <laughs> Tig, one step at a time, like grandmother's footsteps. Come on, creep up on me. Saw you. Gotcha. Oh, well done, Tig. That was brilliant. You walked past the cow. You passed the cow, he said. Should we show the cow, Willie? Really? <laughs> yes. Look, Willie. Really funny cow. <coughs> Silly cow. It's only my toy spider. Uh, Bye. Thanks. Come on then. Home now, said Daddy. Yeah. Come on then. I like cows. And I love Willy. We beat guesses to a Waiting. When I was little, I didn't like waiting. I didn't like waiting for Mummy to finish her work. I didn't like waiting for Daddy to come home. Willy didn't like waiting either. One day, I was waiting for the rain to right. go away. He'll be all day waiting for the rain to stop. Should we go and bake a cake instead? Come on, Why then. don't we bake oh, a cake instead? Said Daddy. Right. We washed our hands and put on our aprons. I put everything on the table. Bowls, sugar, oil, eggs, oranges and raisins. Oh, said Daddy. Carrots. Mustn't forget the carrots. Carrots for a cake. I said. Just you wait and see, Tig. Wait and see, said Daddy. Mmm. I thought. I like.
like my carrots with my potatoes. Thank you. Daddy chopped the carrots and I grated them in a special machine. Daddy grated orange skin. All of it? We tipped sugar into a bowl. Daddy poured sticky oil all over the sugar. Slop went the carrots and oranges. Yuck! Whoa. We broke eggs all over the yuck. I sprinkled raisins. What, do another one? I mixed up the mush. Yes. Nothing looks like anything. Is this a cake? I said, just wait and see, said Daddy. Flump. I dumped some flour and I stirred everything together. I like making cakes. Daddy had a tin with paper. We put the mush into the tin. Into the oven went the tin. Say bye bye to the cake. Bye bye, cake. Now to wait, said Daddy. Let's see, see the clock up there. So when the big hand gets to 12, it's ready, OK? And now we just have to wait for the cake to bake. How, how long? Can I see the cake now? I said, we not yet, Egg. We have right, to wait. Nothing was happening. I didn't like waiting. Hey, Tig, waiting for things to happen can be very tiring and dull and yawning. <sighs> Waiting for things to happen can be angry making too. Grrr! The trouble with waiting for things to happen is that some things just don't seem to happen at all. The time just seems to stop. Tick, tock, tick, tock. But if you want the time to move and things to happen again, then don't sit and wait. Do something else. Have fun and think about other things. And when you're having fun and thinking about other things, things will start happening. So go for it, Tig. Why not have fun and help Daddy clean the kitchen? Then that cake will be baked in no time. Yes, I thought. No use sitting and waiting. I'll do something else. Daddy, can I help you clean up? I helped Daddy do the washing up. Okay. Then it was time to take the cake out of the oven. Wow. How lovely does it look? Mmm. Right. We waited again for the cake to cool. Willie played hide and seek with Daddy. Oh, oh, it's a spider. Ah, oh, you got me. It's a little spider. Then we ate the carrot cake. It didn't need potatoes. Mm. I don't mind waiting for some things. I love Willy. We Thunder! When I was little, I liked big loud noises. Willy liked big loud noises too. Some big loud noises made me laugh. Some big loud noises made me jump. Some big loud noises made me shout at them. Fire! Fire! I like making big loud noises too. But one noise I didn't like was thunder. Mummy, Daddy! Thunder scares me. No one could stop thunder. Not even Daddy. You're quite safe. One day, Daddy took me and my friend Timmy yeah. to play in the park. It's looking a wee bit stormy. Thunderstorm? Maybe a thunderstorm. I didn't yeah, like thunder. Come on, said Daddy. On, then, we'll go ten pin bowling instead. I forgot about thunder. Let's put them here. I never seen okay. ten pin bowling before. Right. There were lots of big loud noises at ten pin bowling. <laughs> the noises. It was exciting. Do you know who's winning? The ten pin bowling was a game. When the ball got to the end of the lane, it hit the pin with a big right, loud big clatter. Watch me. The more pins that fell over, 
the bigger and louder, the clatter. If you knocked over all the pens, it was a strike. It was the biggest clatter ever. We all played together, but the ball was heavy. So Daddy got a special rolling machine just for me. We took turns to roll the ball and see how many pins we could knock oh, over. Sometimes none. Sometimes one. Sometimes lots. And push it. We never knew how many pins were going to fall over. When Daddy got a strike, we cheered. Ten pins clattering over. Hooray! Ten pin bowling was so much fun. When I went home, I forgot the stormy weather. I played ten pin bowling before bed. That night, I woke up. There was a big clattering bang. I thought I was at the ten pin bowling. I wasn't. It was thunder. I was scared. I hid under the bedclothes and cuddled Willy. Hey, Teak, no one likes thunder. Thunder can be scary. You never know when the bang will come next. Or how loud and clattery it will be. When you don't like something, think of something you do like. Tim pin bowling! Wait for the flash, roll the ball, and see how big the clatter will be! Flash! Roll the ball, and... Clatter! I think we knocked over about five pins then. Flash! Roll the ball, and... Clatter! That was a strike! Ten pins! So go for it, Tig. See how loud the next bang will be. Yes, I thought. Thunder is scary, but not quite so scary when you have fun with the bangs. You OK, Tig? Daddy came running into my bedroom. He thought it was funny that I was playing ten-pin bowling with thunder. Oh, oh, oh. And then I don't like thunder, but I like ten pin bowling, and I love Wooly. The wedding. When I was little, I had to go to a big house where my auntie Shona was getting married. Wooly came too. Take. Why don't you come and have a look at your dress? There was a dress. It was very pretty. It was my dress. I was a flower girl. Oh, I have a tiara. Isn't it lovely? Yes, Auntie it Shona was having her face painted. Mummy helped me put on my dress. Oh, Tick, what a pretty flower girl. Granny said I looked very pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. My Auntie Shona said I looked very, very pretty. Auntie Shona gave me a basket of flower petals. <gasps> Miss Lottie, my dancing teacher, was in charge of the wedding. Good luck. We followed Miss Lottie. There were lots of people in the big room. My friends Timmy and Louise and Mr Tonka and the Giggly Lady and Granny and Mummy had all come to see me. Auntie Shona's boyfriend, Clive, pushed in next to Auntie Shona. Please be seated. Miss Lottie started talking. She talked and talked and talked. I'm happy to officiate her marriage to Clive. When I looked at Granny, she was crying. Poor Granny. I didn't want my Granny to cry. So I did my special dance to cheer Granny up. Granny liked my special dance. Granny stopped crying. <laughs> Mummy came along and stopped my dance. Yes. Mummy said we had to get more petals. I 
didn't want to stop my dance. I was having fun. Mummy had spoiled my fun. And everyone else's fun too. I'm just going to get some more petals taken. Whee! Hey, Tig, it's not nice being stopped when you're having fun. But sometimes fun things have to stop so that other important things can be done. At Shona's wedding, the most important thing to be done is for Shona to be married to Clive. Miss Lottie can't marry Shona and Clive while you're doing your lovely dance. So Mummy is only stopping your fun so that Shona and Clive can be married. Hey and Tig, don't worry about Granny. She wasn't sad crying. She was happy crying. Ding, dang, dong, dong, ding, dang, dong, dong. So go for it, Tig. Help to make Shona's day a happy, happy wedding day. Be a good flower girl and throw some petals. Whee! Yes, I thought. I am important. I'm the flower girl. But the most important of all is Shona. I'm going to make Shona's day the best day ever. I threw petals all over the floor. Auntie Shona was so happy. When Clive saw Willie, he got a fright. We all had a party. There was lots of dancing. I like being a flower girl. I like to make everyone happy. I love Willie. We've been dancing since we were three. Fireworks. When I was little, I went to watch fireworks. We went to Timmy's house. Willie came too. Timmy had a garden. At the end of Timmy's garden was a park. We are going to watch the fireworks in the park. I should really be doing the fireworks. Timmy was very excited about the fireworks. I wasn't excited. I didn't like fireworks. Timmy had animal masks. He ran around whooping. I had a cat mask. I went meow. I like playing at Timmy's. <laughs> Mummy was excited about the fireworks. I think everyone's getting a little overexcited about the fireworks. I wasn't excited about the fireworks. But I like playing at Timmy's. We did painting. We painted firework pictures with big bangs and whooshes. I like the firework pictures, but I didn't like fireworks. We played funny games. We played blow the grapes. We played bite the jammy scone. We played pop the raisin bag. The bag went bang. It's like a firework. I didn't like fireworks, but I like eating the raisins. The fireworks didn't start until it was dark. When we waited for the dark, Daddy told us a story. Daddy told the story of the three bears. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Bernard. Daddy looks. Oh. Daddy got the story of the three bears all wrong. And she started to eat the bears. Cabbage soup. Porridge. Por all oh right, porridge, right. When the three bears came back in, they caught Goldilocks and she was watching the television. She was sleeping in the three bears' bed. Oh, is that what it was? Right. Silly daddy. I know, dad's really silly, isn't he? Then it was dark. Time for the fireworks, said mummy. I want to play hide and seek. I said, and hid under the table. 
everyone was excited about the fireworks. Come on, Tig. You make us all late. I wasn't excited. I didn't like fireworks. I was scared of fireworks. Hey, Tig. Just because everyone else isn't scared of fireworks doesn't mean that you can't be scared. Fireworks scare me. The bangs, the flashes and the whizzies. Fireworks scare lots of animals. Dogs and cats hate fireworks. So when the fireworks start, the best place for animals is indoors. So maybe when the fireworks start, the best place for you and me is indoors too. Then the fireworks won't seem quite so scary. And then we can look after each other. So go for it, Tig. Tell everyone that you don't want to watch the fireworks outside. It's too scary. Yes, I thought. I'll tell Mummy and Daddy and Timmy that I don't like fireworks. Don't worry, Tig. No worries, said Timmy. We can watch from the window. So we did. And I cuddled Willy. Watching the fireworks from inside was fun. The fireworks whizzed and whooshed and painted the sky. When my toy spider heard a big bang, he jumped. It's only a firework, Willy, I said. I like fireworks and I love Willy. We've been guessing. birthday present. When I was little, I had a big, big birthday present. It was all wrapped up. When I unwrapped my big, big birthday present, I found a bicycle inside. It was all shiny and pink and purple with a bell and a basket and a seat at the back for Willy. Mummy said, do you want to ride your bike? Are you going for a ride? Not in my pyjamas. Not in my pyjamas, I said. When I got dressed, I pushed my bike outside. Should I help you ride your bike, said Mummy. No, I said. I just want to push my bike myself. I love my big new bike. Willie likes my new bike too. That night, I wrapped my bicycle up. I wanted to keep it all shiny and new. The next day, Mummy and me went shopping with our bikes. Shall I help you ride your bike? said Mummy. No, I just want to push my bike. It was a long way to the shops, round the fountain, past the playgrounds. I pushed my bike along. Going down the hill, my bike ran away. Boing! Tig, you need to use your brakes. Do you want me to show you? No, I said. I just want to push my bike. When we got to the long path, I was puffed. Tig, why don't you sit on your bike and I'll show you how to pedal? It'll be so much easier. No. No, I said. I just want to push my bike. At the shops, Mummy bought lots of things. I bought a flower for Daddy. Come on, Tig. On the way home, we stopped and watched the big children on their bikes. They look like they're having fun. They're having fun, said Mummy. I pushed my bike some more and then I stopped. I didn't want to push my bike. Tig, let me help you on your bike. No, I said. I didn't know what to do. Hey, Tig. Pushing a bike is OK. But riding a bike looks much more fun, doesn't it? Pedal, 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 wee! But doing something new for the first time can be scary. Wee! Quite as scary as that, but still scary. All you need is a little help to get you going. 
Pedal, 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 wee! Hey, Tig! Sometimes you just need to ask for someone to help. So, why don't you ask your mum to help you ride your bike? You might find it a lot easier than you thought. Pedal, 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 wee! Go for it, Tig. You'll still have your new bike, but now you'll be riding it. Yes, I thought. I'll ask Mummy to help me ride my bike. Now, if you can sit on your bike, and if you put your feet on the... She showed me the bell, the pedals, the brakes, and how to go round and round. Riding my bike was easier than I thought. So Mummy and me rode all the way home. When Mummy saw Willie, she nearly fell off her bike. What's that in the back of your bike? He's only my toy spider, I said. I love riding my bike. And I love Willie. We've been scared since we were three. When I was little, my daddy took me on a train. Willie came too. Hello there. We had to buy tickets for the train. Daddy gave me my very own train ticket. At the front of the train was a steam engine. I'd never seen a steam engine before. The steam engine whistled. I was scared. Daddy was excited. He took lots of pictures with his camera. A man blew a whistle. Come on, Tig, said Daddy. Inside the train, we had our own little room with big armchairs. Woo-hoo! Chuff, chuff, chuff. I was so happy. This was the best day ever. Clash, clash, clash. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Clash, clash, clash. Hello there, tickets, please. Tickets, please, said the man. Through the country, chip, chip, chip. under the bridge, chip, chip, chip. I love the train. Chip, chip, chip. Come on, said Daddy, let's go and explore. We found a little shop. Orange juice, please. An orange juice? Daddy bought me a juice. Bye, see you later. This was the best day ever. <laughs> Up the hill we chuffed. Daddy said the engine driver would need to shovel lots of coal. I was so happy. The train chuffed into a little station. Daddy and me got off the train. Good girl. Time for lunch before we go home, said Daddy. Home, I thought. I don't want to go home. Daddy and me had lunch. It was the best day ever. I didn't want the day to end. Time to go home, said Daddy. No, I thought. I don't want to go home. Maybe if I had Daddy's camera for a little, then the day might go on for a little longer. So I hid Daddy's camera under a tree. Where's my camera? Maybe it's in the bin. Maybe I'll put it in the bin. Oops, Daddy's in a tease, Tig. Poor Daddy. Hey, Tig, when you're having the best day ever, thinking of it ending can make you feel sad and cross. But best days don't just end, they can be there forever. A best day is for remembering. A best day is for talking about to Mummy. A best day is for seeing all over again when you look at Daddy's pictures. Oops! And this best day you can carry away with you. Your very own train ticket to remind you of all you did. And hey! And there's more fun to come! Woo-hoo! Chuff, 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 chuff. Go for it, Tig. Help Daddy and say sorry. 
Then you can have more of your best day together. Yes, I thought. I was making Daddy sad. I wanted us both to have the best day ever. I said sorry to Daddy for hiding his camera. You were happy again. Oh, there, do you have tickets? I showed Willie to the ticket man. Oh, dear me, what is that? He's only my toy spider, I said. <laughs> I love remembering my best day ever. And I love Willie. Excited. When I was little, I went to a festival. Willie came too. The festival was like a long fairy tale land. Some people were still like statues. A man floated. A mermaid smiled. A man was so still. A seagull sat on his hat. I was excited. Ooh. There was a noise like a vacuum cleaner. The man blew a big bag and played his tune. I did a wee dance. <laughs> I was all excited and bubbly inside. There was a man in the middle of the street. The man juggled. The juggling man asked Daddy to hold the ladder. Then the juggler climbed the ladder and juggled. Everywhere, everyone was so excited. People dancing, people singing. But the most exciting thing of everything was my friend Angel. Angel was there too. I was so excited. I wanted to cry and laugh. I wanted Angel to bubble like me. I hugged Angel hard. But Angel wasn't excited. Mummy said, calm down, Tig. Mummy took me to listen to a lady playing music. I don't want to listen to the lady. I think we're all getting a little bit overexcited. I wanted to be excited. Mummy was spoiling the fun. Hey, Tig. Mummy's not spoiling the fun. Mummy is a bit worried, that's all. It's fun being excited, but it's no fun being too excited. Being too excited is like bubbling over. <laughs> Being too excited is like not knowing whether to laugh or cry or jump up and down. <laughs> Being too excited can be scary. Scary for everyone. Being too excited can make the magic go away. So sometimes when you are bubbling up with excitement, it's fun to stop for a moment. Be still, as still as a statue. It's magic and fun for everyone. So go for it, Tig. Have an exciting or magic time. Yes, I thought. I like to be excited, but I don't want to bubble over. Well done, Tig. You seem a lot calmer now. Come on, let's go and have some fun. I had fun being a statue. Angel played statues too. We were very still. A lady as still as a statue saw Willie. She moved. It's only a toy spider. It's only my toy spider, I said. I 
like exciting magical days. I like bubbling inside. And I love really. We've been together since we were three. She climbed into Funny the tummy. As warm as a when I was little, I loved my nursery school. Willie liked my nursery school too. I liked my nursery teacher, Miss Claire. I liked all my friends. We liked playing together. I liked Hashim. Hashim was funny. Hashim got excited a lot. Hashim shouted a lot. She laughed a lot. One day, Hashim pushed me. I didn't like Hashim. I didn't like my nursery school. The next day on the way to nursery school, my tummy hurt. Daddy? Yeah? I have a sore tummy. Whereabouts? All right, come on, I think we should go home. On, Daddy took me home. The next day on the way to nursery school, my tummy hurt again. Daddy. Yeah. I've got a sore tummy. Shall we maybe go and try and see the doctor? Shall we go and see? Come on then. Poor Tig. Tig Jameson, doctor will see you doctor, now. Thank you. Daddy took me to see the doctor. Hello, Tig. Come on in and have a seat. I liked going to the doctor. Now, what can we do for you today? I've got a sore tummy. Oh dear. The doctor asked me about the pain in my tummy. The doctor said to lie down on a big bed. Just go to lift your top up like this and then have a wee feel of your tummy. The doctor felt my tummy. She listened to my inside. Let's have a wee listen and see what noises your tummy's making. Nothing to worry about, said the doctor. Tell me how you feel tomorrow. I like the doctor. She made my tummy better. Daddy said we can have a fun day together. Daddy took me to a park. Make sure Willie doesn't fly away. After the park, we went to a cafe. We were having fun. How's your sore tummy? said Daddy. Gone. I said, Doctor made it better. Good, said Daddy. Maybe you can go back to nursery school tomorrow. My tummy didn't feel very well again. Hey, Tig, it's not nice when your tummy feels funny. Maybe your tummy feels funny because things are not quite right inside your tummy. But maybe your tummy feels funny because something is worrying you outside. Hey, Tig, something is worrying you outside, isn't it? Hashim, you're worrying about Hashim because he can be a bit rough sometimes. When you have a worry like that, you must tell someone. Tell Miss Claire, tell Daddy. Sharing worries can help other people sort them out for you. Sharing worries will help your tummy feel a whole lot better again. Go for it, Tig. Share your worries and tell Daddy. Yes, I thought. I'll tell Daddy about Hashim. Hashim. Who's he? Um, he's a boy at my nursery. He pushed me. When I told Daddy about Hashim, my tummy didn't feel funny anymore. I told Claire about Hashim too. Yes, Tig? Hashim pushed me. Thank you very much for telling me, Tig. We'll speak about it later, OK? My tummy didn't hurt anymore. When I showed Willie to Hashim... It's only a toy spider. He ran away. I like my nursery school. I like Hashim. I love Willie. We've been guessing to Willie. Guessing better. You're not hungry. When I was little, I got ill. I didn't want any tea. And I hurt all over. What's wrong? 
I don't feel very well. Oh. Mummy took my temperature. Oops, you're a bit hot, Tig, said Mummy. Let's get you to bed. I didn't feel well. Hello? When Daddy came home, he came to see me. Are you OK? You OK, Tig? Just got a bit of a temperature. No, I said. I don't feel well. Wooly cuddled in beside me. I fell asleep. When I woke up next morning, Mummy looked at me in a funny way. I know what's wrong with you. You've got chicken pox. I see what's wrong with you, Tig, said Mummy. You've got chicken pox. I look like a speckledy thing with little red spots. We'll have to get you better, said Mummy. In the day, Mummy read me lots of stories. My spots itch. Mummy put nice cool stuff all over the spots. I even had spots in my mouth. Mummy gave me lollies. Mummy made me lots of mashy meals and sloppy drinks. This one is Bernard. Bernard and <laughs> At night, Mummy gave me puppet gloves to wear so I didn't scratch. I like my puppet gloves. When Daddy came home, we played. We built things on the table. Every day my spots didn't itch. Quite so much. Oh, no red. Soon I was painting and drawing and doing things myself. Sometimes I felt a bit better. Sometimes I didn't. One day Mummy said, Tig, I think you're getting a bit better. Would you like Angel round to play? Tig, would you like Angel to come and play? Yes, please. And guess what? She's got chicken pox as well. Yeah. <laughs> Angel's got chicken pox too, said Mummy. I was excited. I got all my toys out for Angel to play with. I played jumping from cushion to cushion. Suddenly, I didn't feel well again. I didn't want to see Angel. The doorbell went. That'll be Angel. There's Angel. I don't want to see anybody because I don't feel very well. No, I said. I don't want to see Angel. Hey, Tig, getting better can take a long time. Sometimes you feel up, sometimes you feel down. Sometimes you feel wobbly. Sometimes you feel strange. Getting better is like doing everything for the first time all over again. Whee! Like walking in the street. Or going back to school. Or seeing Angel again. But every time you do something new again, You'll feel a little bit better. So go for it, Tig. Say hi to Angel. It'll make you feel like your old self again. Yes, I thought. I want to be my old self again. You've got spots. I want to see my friend. I want to get better. Angel and me played. When Mummy saw Willy with spots... <gasps> oh! It's only a toy spider. Oh. I like getting better. <laughs> ben, 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 ben. I love Willy. We've been guessing to Willy. Shadows. When I was little, I didn't like the dark. Willie didn't like the dark either. So Daddy bought me my very own light. The light came in a box. A lamp. A lamp. Oh, that looks lovely, Ted. Should we go and set it up? Yeah, why don't we go and plug it in in your bedroom? See what your new lamp is Daddy doing. plugged the light in. Your bed. Then we turned the light on. Turn it off. On. And then off again. The box. I like the box that the light came in. 
Mummy said I could make something with the box. I made a puppet show. I painted inside the box. I didn't have puppets for my puppet show. When Mummy finished her work, she made me puppet birds. The birds were so sweet. She had little beaks and feather wings. The puppet birds could fly. Do you think they're friends? No, brother and sister. Oh, that's nice. At bedtime, I switched on my new light. Daddy and Mummy came to see my puppet show. Hey, little Jackie birds, sitting on the wall. The puppet show was all about two birds who sat on the wall. The birds flew away and then came back. Come back, Tweety. Daddy and Mummy liked the puppet show. I snuggled down with Wooly. And all your lights will stay on until you fall asleep. Mummy left my new light on. Mummy left the big light on too. Then I went to sleep. That night I woke up. All the lights were off, but my very own light was on. It glowed. I felt safe. But when I looked up at the ceiling, something was new. I saw hairy monsters. I hid under the bedclothes. I peeped out. The hairy monsters were still there. I wanted to run away. Hey, Tig. Things can look scary at night because things can look different. The light and the dark play tricks. You just need to look again to find out what something really is. So I wonder what those hairy monsters could be. Let's peep. There's your new light. And look, just above the new light is your fluffy sheep mobile. And over there is... Oops! Big hairy monsters! Round and round they go, just like the sheep, because that's what the hairy monsters are. Just the shadows of fluffy sheep. So nothing scary, just shadows. You can make shadows too, Tig. You can make your very own shadow puppet show. Go for it, Tig! No more scaries. Yes, I thought. No monsters, just shadows. I'll have fun making my own shadow puppet show. Mummy and Daddy came to see what I was doing. When they saw a big hairy monster with eight legs walking across the ceiling, they went, <gasps> ah! There's a little guy spider on the roof. I like my new light. What's this, Tig? I like making shadow puppet shows. I love Wooly. We've been together since we were three. I'll tell you what, why don't Busy. I get my stuff done and then I'll meet the When I was little, my mummy and daddy had a very busy day. Me and Wooly had a busy day too. I was busy doing my jigsaw. Mummy and Daddy were busy talking. Talk, talk, talk. Off we go. But my jigsaw, I said. Rush, rush, rush. We got into the car. Where's Wooly? Where's Wooly? Daddy stopped the car. At least the brakes work, said Mummy. Mummy picked up Wooly. Wooly was just doing your jigsaw. Wooly was trying to do the jigsaw. So was I. Daddy drove to the garage. See you later. Mummy rushed off. We went into a room with a window. We saw the car go up into the air. A man came to talk to Daddy. Daddy's busy. In a minute, said Daddy. Talk, talk, talk. Whiz! The wheels came off the car. 
the wheels went back on the car. Whizz! Hooray! The wheels worked. Daddy drove us to the printers. Hi there. Hi there. I'm supposed to be meeting my wife here. Right. Talk, talk, talk. For a presentation document. What are you talking about, Daddy? In a minute, said Daddy. Mummy came through the door. Oh, hi. Hi. Mummy! Daddy left to go to work. Bye. I need to get... Talk, talk, talk. ...size print scan to PDF and about... Mummy, what are you talking about? Yeah, Just I in could, a minute, Ted. Mummy's busy. In a minute, said Mummy. Do you want to do some drawing for me? Mummy gave me some drawing. Come on, here we go. One, two, three. Whee! Oh, sorry about that. That's OK. So... I drew a sun. Look, Mummy, a sun. Just in a minute, Tig. Mummy's busy. In a minute, said Mummy. Talk, talk, talk. I didn't like Mummy always busy. Hey, Tig, it's not nice when no one listens to you. It's not nice when no one looks at your pictures. But, Tig, Mummy and Daddy are having a busy day. You need to let them be busy. When Mummy and Daddy are busy, you need to be busy too. You've done one drawing, so why not do some more drawings? Why not make your very own jigsaw? Well, you've got one piece of your jigsaw, a sun. Here's another piece. Mm, doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba. Mm -hmm. What's that, do you think? <laughs> a roof. For a house. There's one half of your jigsaw. All you've got to do now is finish off the other half. What are you going to put under the sun? Tig. Yes, Tig. A picture of you would look great there. Go for it, Tig. Get busy. Yes, I thought. I can be busy too. Oh, well done, Tig. You've been so busy. You've done a jigsaw. The printer man made another of my jigsaws for Daddy. So when nice. the printer man saw Willy, he made a face. Ah! It's only a toy spider. I like Mummy and Daddy being busy. I like being busy too. I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. Big stumps. Look, what's that big red white? When I was what's little, that? I went on a holiday. A we went on a boat to the holiday. I liked the boat. Willie liked the boat too. At the holiday, we lived in a caravan. The caravan was like a little house. My friend Angel and my friend Timmy were on the holiday too. There were lots and lots to do at the holiday. There was a swimming pool with a bridge. Every day there was showtime. <laughs> Mr Tonka played the piano. Ladies Daddy was funny and said nonsense. For your delectation. Mummy did a poem about a cat. The owl and the pussycat went to see. I like your time. I made two puppets. Bernard and Bumpy. Bernard and Bumpy danced. <laughs> Everyone laughed. There was a big room with lots of games. Mummy and Daddy played a funny game called badminton. They hit a feathery thing. I wanted to hit it too. I couldn't hit the feathery thing. OK, you ready, Tig? Oh. Oh. I was cross. Tig. Daddy looked cross too. Angel did skipping. I wanted to skip like Angel. I 
couldn't skip like Angel. I was cross. Angel looked cross too. Timmy played another game, table tennis. I couldn't hit the ball. I was cross. Timmy looked cross too. Hi, Ted. You OK? No. I was cross. I was making everyone else cross too. Hey Tig, there's nothing wrong with feeling cross. You're just feeling cross because you can't do some of the things other people can do. Skipping like Angel. Skip, skip, skibbity woo. Playing the badminton game like Mummy and Daddy. Pip, pop, pip, pop, pip, pop. Playing table tennis like Timmy. Ping, pong. Ping pong, pingity pong. But one day, when you're older, you'll be able to do all those things and lots more. But Tig, there's lots of things you can do now. You can make people laugh with your puppet shows. Hello, I'm Bernard. And I'm Bumpy. Hey Tig, go and get rid of your cross feelings so they don't hurt anyone else. Go and have a good stomp. Then have fun making everyone laugh. <laughs> yes, I thought. I don't want to make anyone else cross. I shall have a stomp. I stomped into the ball pool till I was laughing again. <laughs> At showtime, I made everyone laugh with my stompy dance. When Mr Tonka saw Willy, he got a fright. I saw the toy spider. I like making people laugh. I love Willy. I love Willy and Willy loves me. We've been scared since we were wee.